Greetings everyone, welcome. My name is Jameson and today I'm reviewing a GRDE LED headlamp. I'm really passionate about this, as silly as that sounds. I've bought three of these over the past four years and not because they break, it's because I give them away as gifts um, they, because I trust them so much. This is my personal one I've had for four years and I love it. It's still going strong, same batteries, same everything. It works great, I absolutely love it. And so I have no qualms giving these as gifts because they're super cheap and they're the best headlamp I've, I've ever owned. So um, I definitely give them away. Anyway, let's go through the box and I'll show you what's in here. It's every accessory you could possibly want. Uh, so one, a car adapter. So if you're on the go and you gotta charge this in your car, you got that. Two, you've got a USB adapter that is adorable and I'm actually gonna take it apart right now. Um, you know, it's a gift, but whatever, they can, they can understand I'm doing a review of this one. So I'll plug this in. This is like the silliest thing, but I'm so happy they do this. It's a little smiley face when you have power. <laughs> it's adorable. And it actually changes color when it detects a current is being drawn. So I think um, mine is actually green when you plug it in. When you, then when you plug it into your headset, it'll turn red. And so once it's done, that'll change color. Again. Really awesome. So you can plug that into a wall adapter as I did there or your computer. Really anything. That just plugs right back into the lamp. Love it. Of course, you don't need to plug it into the wall because you have a wall adapter as well. So there's three ways to charge it, which is great because if you're human like I am, you're going to lose probably one of these. <laughs> I always lose my chargers. So having a backup is great. And of course, the headlamp itself. Eh, I guess there are some instructions, some nifty tips on proper battery care and all that, if you don't mind reading that first. But let's get rid of the meat and potatoes. Come on, it's the headlamp. That's where it's at. So it has uh, three bands, which I was worried at first they'd get tangled, but they really don't. So you can see there's just like a, a little wrap there. Um, you might need to like swivel that around to get it out, but uh, boom, it's not wrapped or anything. Uh, that's one problem with some of these headlamps is they have too many straps or not enough and they get tangled easy. I don't have that problem with this and I'm just realizing the wear and tear I've, I've put on this thing. <laughs> A lot of hours. Anyway, this one isn't going to power on because I know how they pack the batteries in here. And I'll get to that, but uh, let's focus on why I bought this headlamp. The number one reason is there is one LED. They have focused all of their lighting power into one really nice LED. It may look attractive when companies put an array of LEDs, but typically they're weak. They have no adjustable focus. In very few circumstances, that would be a good thing to have. Uh, if you're looking for something that's very versatile and super bright, up to 1800 lumens, this is the one. This is the one for you. Would definitely highly recommend it. And you can zoom in by pushing forward and zoom out just by pushing it back in. There must be a nice little O-ring or something that controls that. Um, so you can just, you know, adjust that on the fly. Really nice. There's also different modes. Um, I'll demonstrate with this one. So that's the second brightness. That's strobe. So yeah, just different modes for different use cases. Uh, as you can see, this is also adjustable. So like tilt-wise, you can look straight down, you can look straight ahead, you can look down. This is retention clamped, so it's not going to move around on its own. I love the clickiness. I love that you don't have, it, have to tighten any knobs or anything. That's, that's beautiful. I love that. And I'm just sounding like such a fanboy over such a basic commodity, but really, it's great. Um, the power comes from the back. It's a nice coiled cable that's attached to the headset. And when you turn it on, I'm glad I have my old one here. Or, well, it's, it's, I, I'm really tempted to take it for myself, but my old one works just fine, so it'll be my, mine, <laughs> not just my old one. Um, but yeah, when you turn it on, the back lights up. So mine has a little bit different branding on the back there. They have obviously changed in the past four years uh, to include some custom banding on the back there. So I use this a lot when I go biking. I mostly use it when I use it on my house, but um, use it when I use it on my house. You know what I mean. Uh, but it's great for biking because you have a little bit more visibility on the rear of your head, which is important. 
um, to stay visible out there. You want to do everything you can. So um, that's one thing I like about this. Anyway, on the bottom here, let's see if we can get a good angle. It's kind of dark. Um, there is a little rubber cover that protects the port, and that's how you charge this. Uh, to remove the batteries, they are 18650s. So your standard lithium ion cell you'd find in pretty much anything. You just lift up the cover, and this actually clamps on there pretty well, and it is very comfortable on the head. Um, it's a very soft silicone, and same with the front. It's got this nice rubbery pad. Um, it, it feels very comfortable, and once you set it to yourself, it's, it's going to fit perfectly. So anyway, open that up, and wow, these are in here tight. There we go. Oh, kind of pulled them out the wrong way. Anyway, uh, it's shipped with two 18650 lithium-ion cells, and I need to give these guys credit. Um, a lot of sellers on Amazon, eBay, Alibaba, they'll sell you products that include 18650s. However, they'll be listed at a milliamp hour rating of something absurd. I'm talking like 5,000 milliamp hours, 10,000, I've seen 12,000. Ridiculous, like Samsung doesn't even make batteries and we're near that high. Um, 2,200, that's super realistic. And through my tests, um, I have a few, I don't have it around here right now, but I have a utility that can kind of guesstimate how much milliamp hours something is pulling. Obviously it's not 100% correct, it's only like, an $80 piece of equipment, but um, it pulled at about this, just slightly under. I'm talking like 2100 something. Um, so props to these guys for giving you a good set of batteries because it's such a nice lamp that if you were to give it crappy batteries, you know, that's not gonna speak well to the rest of it. So the whole package is really something you're going to like or someone that you're giving this to. I love it, um, even the contacts in here gold-plated, so they're not going to oxidize, and they're held sturdily in there. Very nice molded base. Anyway guys, that's all I can really say about it. Um, this is a, it's a great gift, or if you're selfish, buy one for yourself. Uh, they work great. They're, you know, with winter up in the United States, just around the corner, I think we might actually be officially in it now. Um, this is great because the days are shorter and you can see where you're going, and if you want to stay active or work on your house or go biking or do anything with a light source, check it out. It's the GRD LED headlamp. I hope you guys enjoyed this review. If you have any questions, please leave a comment in the section below. I would love to have a conversation with you. This is Jameson. I'll catch you next time. Peace.